All right, so I'd like to hear your thoughts, guys. Um, I just did a video on a guy trying to move to northern New, northern, uh, northern New England and having a hard time getting a stick-built house put on there for uh, a fair price. You know, fair is, is, is uh, relative. I mean, what's fair to you might not be fair to me and vice versa. But anyway, and I, and I asked him, I said, you ever just thought about putting a double wide on there? Um, so what's your thoughts on double wides? You know, I, I've told you, I've worked with mobile homes before for my man up in, uh, in Virginia, you know, for 15, 15, not 50. Someone thought I said 50 bucks an hour when a guy was paying me cash money in order to put skirts on, to fix skirts out uh, this uh, mobile home park this guy had, trail park. And those are just singles, nothing fancy. But, you know, people live there, man. Um, and they live there fine. But anyway, and uh, the double wides, though, some of these double wides are actually quite nice. You know, Clayton Homes, I don't know if Clayton Homes is still out there. Uh, Warren Buffett used to own Clayton Homes. I'm not sure if he still does. But anyway, what's your take on double wides? Um, when we lived in Virginia, we had a ranch, you know, like I said, a three-bed, one-bath ranch, 1,200 square foot, you know, on a concrete slab. No, I guess it was. I guess we had a basement. Now think about it. Yeah. Um, no, no, uh, no driveway. No, uh, we had a gravel driveway, no garage or anything like that. You know, just regular old piece of property, man. I think we paid 120000 for it. Anyway, um, my nephew came by. He goes, he thought it was a trailer. He thought, this looks like a mobile home. And my wife was despondent. Like, oh, my goodness. And I said, I said, who cares? He's just, the kid was eight years old. He didn't know. And uh, frankly, it doesn't matter to me. But it doesn't matter. Um, I've seen some pretty nice double eyes that you would never know were double eyes when you go in there. You know what I'm saying? Um uh, when we used to do home equity lines, we'd actually do home equity lines on uh, double wides or even single trailers, as long as they're on a permanent foundation. If they could be, if they were still on wheels, we would not. That's considered personal property. If they're on a permanent foundation, uh, they they were real estate. They're literally a piece of real estate. They got uh, you could deduct the real estate tax. You know they got tax in Virginia. The personal property tax is high. So a mobile home, if it's on a uh, on permanent property. A permanent foundation would be a tax much less than a uh, than personal property. I remember talking to somebody when I first got in the bank in my first move to Virginia. Um, and I said, well, I can't believe you're paying this much in uh, property tax. And he, I can't remember who it was, but he or she said, oh, this is personal property tax. And I said, what? And anyway, I remember hearing the whole thing. So, And we used to have to go inspect these places on home equity lines of credit. And I had no clue we couldn't do it. It was on, if it wasn't on a permanent foundation. So I remember going out there to this uh, mobile home out in the middle of uh, Shendo Valley. And nothing wrong with this, you know, 60,000 bucks was a value or something like that. That's what she thought. And where he, and we just had a, we didn't do the appraisal. We just had it inspected to make sure it's actually what they said. Long story short, the, uh, oh, it's raining up, big man. Uh, we couldn't do a home equity line of credit on it because it wasn't considered real estate. It was considered personal property and personal property because it had wheels could be driven off and essentially uh, we couldn't put a lead on it if they take it to West Virginia or something like that if that makes sense so but we used to do um, uh, all kinds of home equity lines on double wides all the time simply because they're a per permanent foundation you know what I'm saying and uh anyway just wonder what your thoughts are why not do and I was telling this guy I said why not do a double wide he was I never really thought about that and, and like I don't know that much about it about double wides. I just remember when we used to, uh, you know, like I said, there was a Clayton Home ones in Virginia, right off 11, um, uh, right 11 in Harrisonburg, Virginia. There's another one in uh, Bernie, Texas, that we used to live near. Not live near, but we used to drive by every time when I, uh, when I get off the highway coming from USAA. So there's a big, you know, there was a big demand for uh, for double wides, and they look good, man. I just don't know, would that be something to do? Come on, buddy. As opposed to wait for a stick-built house for 350 bucks a square foot. Yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Thanks.